that's really so, interesting. You know, yeah. so in many ways, it's always why, why I used to get very impatient years ago when people would talk about the, the, the phrase mirror virtuosity used to drive me up the wall mm-hmm. because I feel like there is something Olympic, if you will. You know, if, if you were a soprano and you were trilling a high D flat mm-hmm. and the sheer intensity and the coordination to make that sound in time, in tune, that color, you know, there, there is as much of the, you know, the physicality of that is meaningful yeah. to me, you know. And I'm mean, sure you, you, when we're doing, you know, similarly virtuosic condenses in, in your work, that's, that's there. it's not just more notes per square inch than elsewhere in the piece. It's a, it's a dramatic peak, and it's a kind of dance. It's a dance mm-hmm. with you and your instrument. Mm-hmm. And so uh, that, that, just, that just seems to be more and more urgent as time goes on when you're thinking of the music, even if it's a solo piano piece, if it has nothing to do with theater or nothing to do with language, what is it that the, that the composer, that the performer is doing at that moment um, with, with those materials that's giving you an experience and then what sounds are going to give you, are going to complete that experience? You know, because yeah. I mean, w- without the sounds, it's mine. You know, right. so th- th- there, there's that. But the, it, it, it does seem to me that that, um, the kind of, of uh, interplay between drama and music that I thought was really unique to opera. More and more, if you substitute gesture for drama, it's any music that needs to be performed. Hmm. 